Outriders, we had a small patch drop, but it's a significant one. One that has, in my opinion, changed the game and has reinvigorated my desire to grind within the world of Outriders. What is it you say? Well, tier 3 mods were pretty much not really dropping on the actual APOC you know, slot and it was causing a massive problem. You'd be better off going to the vendors in order to find out what you were actually looking for because they had a higher chance of actually dropping you loot that you could actually use. Now considering my devastated build was pretty much complete, I was min maxing, I spent almost a week solid trying to get that piece and it just wouldn't drop. Turns out it was actually bugged and with the small update that they released server side it has now been fixed and a greater availability as they say of APOC epic tier 3 mods through loot drops are now available rather than vendors. They say yesterday, Thursday, we implemented a backend change to the weighting of drops for tier 3 mods on Apocalypse Epic Gear which is what we're looking for because we just weren't getting them. Previously, players had found that vendors in the game appeared to have a higher chance for tier 3 apocalypse drops than regular loot drops did and this was a fact and it was ruining the game and ruining the experience because you were essentially farming for nothing. Well that's changed and I can say after my stream on Saturday, I actually collected enough pieces to be able to semi build a firepower build, I'm working on devastator at the moment, it's actually pretty damn sweet. I just need to get a few more pieces, maybe well basically a couple pieces to get my survivability up because that's basically where I'm dropping at the moment because I drop up real quick but outside of that it's really really good but this was all thanks to the change that they've done with this update and I'm absolutely you know amazed at how good it is and as a friend of mine once said it's a chef kiss it is absolutely good now there is other updates that they have done with this patch. They've said that the cooldown reduction which was previously 22.5% was reduced unintentionally at max shots to 16.5%. That has also been fixed as of Monday. They do have a smaller patch coming that's going to fix the Grim Inventor set bonus st stopping working after two procs and a bug that is causing the client players apocalypse tier progress to behave abnormally. They've also fixed the bug that prevented characters from getting their first ascension point. All of these will be fixed, including the Rockfall mod, which is dealing in proper damage, but these actually require a client patch update. They are aiming for a mid to late August. However, the good news is you can get out there and farm your heart out. Now, on top of this, Bodified, who if you watch the podcast I was in, he was demonstrating the Outriders Outpost app. I'll have a link in my description below. It's absolutely amazing. It really does help you, you know, while you're offline, build your perfect set. Now with this, you can pretty much get the set you want, print it out and post it onto whatever social media you want. So your fans or your friends or whoever it is you want can see what you've built and it will demonstrate and list everything you have from your mods to your skill tree to everything. Really, really cool stuff. Link to that is in the description below. Highly recommend you check it out. That's pretty much the video. It's a really good change that they've done. It's really invigorated my desire to go back into the game and keep grinding for different builds. And with the change to Anomaly Extract, I now have an abundance of it. So I can just go in and just, you know, farm away without the worry of, oh my God, I'm not going to get enough. Now, all they need to do is fix the fact that you lose XP on dying because that's a pain in the ass. Add an area where we can actually you know, test our builds out, test areas where we won't lose any of our XP or be penalized for it. And finally, as I, in my personal opinion, reduce the apocalypse tier grind by another 10%. But uh, outside of that, all that's left for them is a roadmap to say, this is the road ahead, no dates. I'm, I know they're gonna, we've already had this discussion. They're very, very uh, wary about doing this because of the way the community is, but you know, just a road ahead of what's on the horizon. Even if they don't have to give any details, something like we're looking at an update one here in the f you know first half of the you know first half of 2023, for example. I, don't, I mean, I'm just throwing numbers out here and giving examples. But something like that, just update one, update two, update three. They don't even have to provide a name. Just something so we can get you know. Just know that there's more coming. 
because I think the game, you know, outside of Trials of Terror and Guitar, it does need more because it is, you know, it's not going to sustain everyone and it's not going to hold the player base there. If they are looking to maintain the player base, they could always go live service. I mean, it is an always online game anyway, so it kind of makes sense to go live service, even though they don't want to. But then that will also mean that they may have to introduce market transactions and people don't like that. Although I don't really see how at this point they can add any MTX because it just doesn't make any sense. All that side, that's all speculation. That's all stuff that I'd like to see. The update is really good. If you took a break, because the loots were, loot drops were pretty much crap. Come back, check it out. It's a lot of goods and you'll pretty much be happy with what's dropping. And I'm pretty sure after your first run, full complete run with all the troves, you will find something for your build or something that you are going to say, oh, that's actually a really nice piece. I'm going to hold on to that. Well, everyone, thanks so much for watching and listening to me rant along and enjoy listening to my wonderful voice. I will see you in the next one, which will be soon, because I'm hoping to get this build out as soon as I can, as soon as I've got the few pieces that I need, and I will see you in the next one. Stay safe, and as always, remain legend. Peace out.